Hi, my name is Meza and this is another super quick satisfactory tutorial on how to use custom colors and set them as default in satisfactory. There's also a game changer tip for early game at the end of the video so make sure to stick around and find out what that is. Have you seen content creators place machines, building blocks, foundations, pipes with preset colors and you want to know how to do it? Well, let me show you how the color system in satisfactory works. A quick disclaimer, the color system showed in this tutorial will most most likely undergo a massive change later in the game's development. If and when that happens, I will make a new video. If you can see a link pop up right here in the top right hand side corner of this video, that means that you should go and watch that instead. If it's not there, it means that this current video is still accurate. Right, when you start out in the game, your factory will have the default color scheme where everything you make has this faded yellow color. To change that, you have to first unlock the field research milestone in the hub, make a MAM, and complete the flower petals research tree entirely. Then you'll need to craft a bunch of color cartridges from the flower petals, make the color gun, and start painting. But how does paint actually work in Satisfactory and how can you change the default color? First, make sure to have paint cartridges in your inventory, equip the paint gun, hit R to load it up, and then press right mouse button. This is your paint gun menu where you can select the colors you want to use. There are 16 color slots available. This is very important, let me show you why. Say I paint this wall blue. When I do this, the wall itself doesn't actually store the fact that it is blue, it stores the fact that it was painted to color slot 2. So if I go into the gun and change the color assigned to slot 2, all walls and buildings painted by slot 2 will update to the new color. So why does this even matter? It turns out that by default, the buildings are set to the first color slot. This means that if you update the first slot, you update the default color. This also means, however, that you cannot yet have more than 16 colors in your factory as you can't unlink buildings from these slots. One slight note here is that you don't actually need to have any color cartridges made to be able to update the default or any other color slots value. You might have noticed that changing the default color did not change the way foundations and pipes look. Unfortunately, currently there is no way to change this within the game. However, using the satisfactory calculator, you can. Let me show you how. First, you need to save your game. Then go to satisfactorycalculator.com in the description and select the interactive map menu on the top. Here you can upload your save file with the upload button. Your save file location is in the description below. Once you've uploaded your save, click options and then color slots. Here you'll see all your color slots plus the option to set your foundations and pipe colors. When you're done, click save and then copy the newly created download file into your games directory. Once you load that up, you'll have the default colors set for foundations and pipes. If you want to learn more about the calculator, I recommend checking out Smirkin's video on it. It's linked in the description below. One piece of advice to all you graphically inclined the in-game color selector, while it looks like it's HSL, it isn't. Unfortunately, the color representation is a bit off. If you want to get as close as possible to a color value from outside of the game, use the calculator's color converter to figure out what values you need to use within the game. Link to that is also in the description below. All right, so I promise you a game-changing tip. The color cartridges can be used as fuel in vehicles. Yes, you heard that right. The color cartridges provide 50% more fuel value than fuel itself and they have double the stack size, which means that one full tank of color cartridges will last you more than double the time of a full tank of fuel. Now that's flower power. Hey, if you have learned something today, hit like and subscribe and check out twitch.tv slash 3 and I'll see you the next time. Bye.